hi all so welcome back to this channel and this video session i'll be discussing uh, and check if an ifs file exists on the ifs path and what are all permissions to the file so i'll be using p that is access to check whether a file exists on the ifs uh, location or if it has if it exists uh, what are all permissions to that file so we will be using access api whose prototype is uh, like this uh, which will return an integer to me if it's uh, less than zero which means uh, there is some error or there is permission denied and uh, it will take uh, input parameters as pointer or a string uh, you can say uh, which is actually a ifs path and then we'll passing the access mode in which uh, which more permission uh, you want to check whether the execute permission whether the write permission whether the read permission or if we do not want to check any other permission these permissions and we want to check only if a file exists so all these modes can be passed uh, to this api access api and we can check if a file exists or or other permissions on that file so let's uh, see the demo so uh, we have this uh, prototype for the access api in c so here in rpg we define the prototype like this we have ifs path which is pointer and we can pass string as well so options star string and it is passed by value always because we uh, c api uh, will uh, accept the data or you can say value it, uh, if we pass uh, the address uh, pa call by uh, address uh, reference it will pass the address uh, which is not uh, required by c api so here the access mode which is in teaser again and this will return me in teaser now the access mode is basically consists of three bits you can say let me have it here so first bit second second bit and third bit so if first bit is on means we are passing binary one or uh, we are pass uh, first bit is on which means we are passing the decimal one value and um, that will basically check for if a file has execute permissions or not so basically uh, uh, the execute is on the uh, right side and then write and then read and write and read write read execute so if it's this is on what we are going to check whether it has an execute permission or if it is if the first right rightmost bit is on we are checking the execute permission if the if the uh, second uh, or the, the mid one is on we, we are checking the write permission if the leftmost is on we are checking the read permissions. So if it, these two are on, we are checking read and write permissions. If all these are on, we are checking read, write and execute permission. If this one is on, we are checking write and execute permission. If this and this on, we are checking write and execute permission. So basically, uh, uh, we have these decimal values for the same binaries and let's say i want to check uh, read and write both so i need to add these two that is read access plus write access uh, so whatever i want to check i can uh, i can pass that mode by adding them uh, by adding their uh, decimal values which will basically con uh, uh, convert it to the binaries uh, when we transmitted them to the uh, proc or you can say procedure and at the last one if you do not want to check any access that is execute read or write we'll be passing zero which means we are checking only for if that file exists or not 
so we need the ifs path variable here we need the return underscore access because it will return an integer variable then we need the pointer variable uh, which is because we we also we declared the error uh, api error number uh, function which uh, returned me the error number in case of any error and this str error will return the message corresponding to that error number because we will going to pass the error number here this api will return the pointer to that error number and from that uh, error number we will pa pass that error number here and we will get the error message so uh, these four parameters are defined for that one error pointer is returned from the this call api and uh, we have error underscore number which is based upon this pointer so we'll get the uh, error number uh, located at this address and if we pass that we will return the error message pointer and we at this address we have the message so this string is based upon uh, this error pointer error message pointer and this is a variable length string so we are passing the path let's say we are passing hello world file and we are then checking the first we are checking uh, we are passing the ifs path to that access api and we are checking file exists so we are basically passing zero here so then we are checking execute access to the same file so it will return me the return access if it's minus one there is some error and if it's there is some error we will be uh, further uh, getting the errors using the error apis call and then we are checking the write access and then we are checking the read access so in case we want to check all the access at once what we will be doing any two access or all the access uh, what we can do is we can add them e underscore write access plus execute access so like this we will be uh, having the, this program let's compile this program just wait for a minute it's some error this indicator is not defined here in this could execute access so we just define the wrong or provided the wrong variable here in this could execute access execute access okay this is not correct now let's read just do work link and let's check the authority by taking option 9 so we have reread execute authority all the authorities on this file so let's uh, debug this program or let's read uh, there is one more program uh, which basically uh, creates a file hello world 2 in read access to the owner so let me uh, call this as well so this will create hello world 2 file and if i check the authorities so we have only read authority to this for the owner now let's debug this access
we just set the big point and then call axis so this is the path first at first that is hello world so if I check for the file existence I pass the IFS path and file exist a flag is zero uh, which will return me the return access is zero which means the file is existed and then again we will check for execute access for the same file as you can see so it will again return me zero which means I have the execute access then we will check for the write access which return me 0 which means I have the write access to and then read access so all the access are there now checking for all the accesses at once read write or execute which we have done through uh, three calls three separate calls we did it in a single call so it will return me 0 which means all uh, the authorities uh, read write or execute authorities are there on this file and this file existed now let's say if I call it again and this time I just change the IFS path in debug okay just change this value and make it hello world 2 now I check for file existence so this will exist so if I check for the authorities again it has only read authority this file exists so return access is zero this time because the file existed now it will check for execute access and it will return me minus one which means there is some error uh, there is no permission for me so i got the error pointer that is the error number here 3401 and this will give me the error message which is telling me that permission denied so basically we do not have the execute access to this file now I'll check for write access so it's again minus one which again will tell me that permission denied so we don't have the right access to but if I check for read access I have the uh, read access to this file so basically so that's correct so we uh, using this API we got to know that this file existed and uh, uh, we have the access to uh, uh, what accesses or what permissions we have on that file whether read write or execute or all or some of them so if I pass all these so we will return minus one because uh, we only have the uh, read access not all accesses so this will return me the, the number and the message permission denied okay so let's say if I uh, call this again and And let's say I pass some file name hello world 3 which is not existed if I do work link I will see there is no hello world 3 file on the IFS path so it will uh, now return me return access as minus 1 which means the file does not exist 3025 is the error number and if I check for error message so it will say no such path or directory so this way we will be able to uh, if it's no such path so 
we we must not have any uh, uh, further excesses could be checked so if I look for this it will again say no such path or directory for all access we checked for this file so this will return minus one on every access check because this file does not exist so uh, this way uh, using the access API uh, we are able to check whether a file exists in the IFS or uh, what are all permissions to uh, the file uh, uh, which I am accessing or for which I am checking whether it exists or not on the IFS using RPG program. So that's all in this video. Thank you and have a nice time.